So we're live. Just getting sorted out. Oh dear. This is going to be a good one. We are back on the old ATS. Yes, we are. And why? Because we can. Oh, right. Got my chair sorted. I'm all good. Just brush that off. Got to get sorted. Right, so, as we said, we're live again. You've got to put it with me again. Well, you're choosing to. We are in the old Moana. Moana. Make way, make way. <laughs> Alright, so, this is the sexy truck that we're running. Oh, isn't she gorgeous? Ah, oh, it is an absolutely stunner of a truck. Oh, there it is, that sexiness, I heard it. Absolutely brilliant, thank you very much for that. Truly, truly appreciate it. So, we've got 190,000... 844. I uh, don't think we're able to upgrade the garage we got. Hopefully not much damage today. <laughs> I hope not. I have made a, a, a change, so when I do get scratched or I do get a bit of damage, you're going to see something pretty cool. You're going to see something pretty cool. If I've done it all right. <clears throat> Which you're going to end up seeing because I'm going to end up crashing. We just We just know it. So we've got 109,000. I do think um, that there are some garages around somewhere else. I would like to own another garage. Oh, there's one over there in San Francisco. That's not pretty far, is it? I want to get a decent job, and I want to buy another garage somewhere over this side. Which I think, well, maybe there's one in Meridian. Is there one in Meridian? Is there a garage I can buy? Oh, there isn't. No. Is the one close? Yes, there is. There's one there. So, how are we going to do today? I, uh, honestly, I have absolutely no idea. But we're going to try. Let's go into the jobs. <clears throat> Let's go into freight market. Why not? Let's scroll across what we got. Uh, NC, yeah, I'm not that far, buddy. Santa Cruz, I've got one to Atlanta. How far is that? That's actually pretty far. Uh, oh, because then we could. Is the one to Mississippi? Hmm. <sighs> hmm. No, there isn't. Okay. <coughs> well, there's an offer here from Santa Cruz to Marble in AL. So uh, we're going to go take that. It's fireworks. Well, at least if we crash, it's going to look pretty. <laughs> oh, jeez. This is going to go wrong on so many levels. So, let's go uh, get sorted out. We'll get uh, the old fireworks. I'm um, uh, hoping we do. Alright. Stretch the old arms out. Got to get, gotta get limber for this. You know we're going to crash. Ah, oh, and it's night time. Oh, of course you are, you sponge. Uh, how do we get out of here? There we go then. So we've only got to go 19 miles to go get the trailer. Not too far, is it? Alright, so as you saw, <coughs> and as you can see, we are out in the old Moana, doing a couple of jobs. Hopefully the workers are uh, going to earn some more money for us, that would be fantastic. And the likes of it, is it Stephanie G and 
Bob. Can't do without Bob. Alright, let's just sneak up to this. Just get some fuel whilst we're here. Might as well. Here we go. Get topped up. Because we're taking some fireworks. Ooh! There's a fair amount of fuel in fairness. Price? Oh, is it that price? Oh! Ho, ho. All right, but hope everyone's having a fantastic day. Good day, great day, amazing day, brilliant day, magnificent day. My day's been okay. Not the best, but we all love those days. Right, eight miles. We're gonna get there, and somebody's already got the lights on over there. That's never a good thing, is it? I was nowhere near them. Oh, they broke down. Tell you what, I wish you could. Um, <clears throat> if you see cars broke down, I wish there was a way that you know you could actually help them. Well, we both know I've got to go this way. Quick, before that car comes and uh, sideswipes me. But yeah, what I'm looking for is to uh, buy another garage. The other side of the map, because uh, being old, over here in the old Fresno, uh, pretty far away, would be nice to have another garage. And we do have 190,000, so I do believe we do have enough uh, to buy the garage. I think it is 180,000. I think. You're going to tell me it's there, ain't you? Yep, of course you are. Brilliant. Alright, so let's crack on. Which one is it? That's the last one. You say, I love doing the long jobs. It's going to give us a lot of money doing this job, though, so that's definitely... Good. Whoa, the old back wheel was slipping, then. Right. Here we go. And so, let's make our way 2,128 miles. Not the biggest we've done by any means. But uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, we don't get any damage. I do need to start slowing down around the old corners. Let's uh, turn, shall we? Sure, you got the turning circle of a pigeon with no legs. <coughs> right. Limber up, get the old arms ready. We've got a long haul ahead of us. There we go. Oh, don't hit the hydrant. There we are. But yeah, how's everyone been? Hope you have all been fantastic today. And I really haven't unlocked the garage over here. Uh, the um, a dealership over here. Really? Whoops. Uh, ooh, oi, 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 that was close. Well, we'll go in the Mr. P lane, the middle one. Don't care, coming through. <coughs> so, topped upon the old fuel, we're fine. Damage wise, I think she still does have a little bit of damage um, from when Mama B used it. <laughs> But yeah, you all got to see Mama P drive the old truck. That must have been uh, an experience for you. Hopefully you've all recuperated from that. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to go right here. Apparently it's Sunday now, 2.19am. We're going to get to the destination at 9.20pm on a Monday. Ooh. 
that's toit. Let's uh, keep going. Oh, what traffic's coming so we can merge in. Here we are. Let's crack on and get some work done, shall we? 2,114 miles. It's a fair old trek, but it is worth a decent amount of money. It's putting us over the side of the map where we, we do want to look to uh, buy another garage. The money from this job is hopefully, fingers crossed, going to help. He says. Maybe it will, maybe it won't, maybe I'll crash, waste all my money. Who knows? Because I sure don't. I know one thing's for sure. We're going to crash. At some point, we're going to crash. Whether it'll total the truck or not, I don't know. But we know it's coming. But that's the Mr. P way. Gotta have a crash in a stream, else it's not a stream with Mr. P, is it? And my nose keeps itching. So today's stream is going to be a bit of a shorter one. It's not going to be a really long stream. Do have uh, things that need to be taken care of tonight, so they are more pressing matters. But for I'll get in a quick sneaky little stream. Why not? <coughs> oh, Mr. P's already got pebbles in his throat. All right, let's carry on. Let's get going. Right, let's crack on. So, how many times do you reckon we're gonna crash? One, two, twelve. The only reason I said twelve is because I've got twelve notifications apparently. My bad. Do need to go through and check them. <laughs> Whoopsie. But if you have been uh, watching me floating around the old uh, Tuberville, um, I do have a Discord. Uh, uh, I do have the eyesight of a fish with no eyes. So what am I? I'm a fish. Truck, please do not hit me. Uh, okay, don't try and stop and go forward then, will we? Nope. Alright, let's go. Actually, let's go. Let's go a little bit in cab. It is night time, the beautiful hum of the engine. How are we doing on that side? Okay. Listen to that hum. Gorgeous. Just making sure everything's working fine. <coughs> I was going to stream a little bit earlier, but uh, yeah, had to let the dogs out. Go figure. Just get it set up, and all of a sudden, the look out you as if to say, You haven't let me out in like five minutes, let me out. So, let the dogs out. So, not doing too bad, not doing too bad. <laughs> we didn't break down as soon as we're, we started, that's always a good sign. Because when I was in the old lady look, all I had to do was get it repaired and as soon as I'd pull out the garage, it'd break down. I mean, you do want to watch those uh, previous live streams in the old lady look when I very first started. And uh, we brought... A uh, beautiful Western star, 
that was picked for me by the wonderful chat. Called it Lady Luck. It had never been on a voyage out. And it went absolutely about as fantastic as the Titanic. It was not a good day for the old lady. It just wasn't completely good for the old lady look, just full stop. But we're doing well now. We've got three trucks. We've got the old Western Star lady look. Uh, we have two Peterbilts. Uh, we've got the Decepticon, which if you are uh, a follower of uh, the old gaming page, you will have seen that. And we now have the Moana, which I uploaded some juicy pics on the old page earlier on today. I do believe I took those pictures from last night's live stream. Why not? We're doing the jobs. Might as well get some beautiful pictures out of it. If you don't like it, well, what can I say? You're welcome. And definitely goes with the truck as well. <clears throat> Got those pebbles. <clears throat> right, so nearly 2,000 miles. Uh, it's going to take roughly 40 hours, 32 minutes to get to our destination but then that will give us the opportunity to have enough money to uh, buy a garage and uh, possibly hire another worker, get another truck out there and uh, have those helping us bringing in the money because uh, they're basically out there earning money to pay for the damages that Mr. P causes. We know it. We know it. And I really need to stop rocking my leg because it rocks my monitor on my desk. And the old camera shakes. <laughs> Anyone else have that habit when you sat there, you like tap your foot or you rock your leg? Didn't see anything. <laughs> there was, there was, oh, no! But yeah, we're not doing too bad. Not doing too bad at all. Ooh. All right, so if you are here, you are watching, or you're lurking, come on out. I can smell your deodorant. Because if we don't, I'm telling you, I'm gonna peek through your window and scream in your letterbox. Uh, way station, you can bypass the nearby way station. Gorgeous. It's beautiful. <clears throat> so what we're going to do is uh, we're going to stay in cab until it's daytime. I do love driving in cab at night. Really peaceful. Nice. The hum of the engine. Mm -hmm. Gorgeous. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I wonder how many wave, sta wave, station wave, wave stations. Hey, wave station. Would not want a wave station on what we're doing. Delivering the old fireworks. Go up with a bang. Literally. Just imagine though in this game if you did that you could damage your truck enough that the stuff actually what you're you're transporting did it did actually do some damage. I mean if these fireworks went off, I'd possibly say that I'd have no trailer left. Be fun to see though, wouldn't it? Definitely be fun to see. So we're starting to get light already. But we'll wait. We'll wait until about 7 o'clock. And then uh, we'll jump out of cab. Catch the views and the rays. Possibly the sunrise, because I think it's rising over there. Tell you what, we've already done a, a, a few miles. No damage. <coughs> That's rare. Like, extremely rare. Doesn't often happen. Oh, you're going my way, aren't you? Of course you are. Check the old mirrors. Here we 
are. Let's go. Ooh. Gotta love the old Peterbilt. This is a gorgeous truck. And I still didn't put in the polos and put in the toilet roll. I tell you, these are struggling times. Struggling times. Mr. P can't afford the toilet roll and the polos. Because we know why they quickly want him to get out the way station. It's like, uh, can you please step over for me, sir? And I'm like, of course I can. <laughs> Easy way to quickly get out of the way station. Just give him that toxic breath. And you're fine. It's at 5.55. It's getting pretty light outside. It's always a good sign. We're going straight across. Tell you what, we've got the old miles down pretty good. That's nice. We'll slow down a little bit because there's those bollards near the uh, the edge of the road. We know, know, we'll know they're out, made out of titanium. Hit one of those and it's 50 damage. Just the, it's ridiculous the amount of damage you get from those things. Uh, here we go again through Bakersfield. So, are we going to end up going through Amarillo? Don't hit the car, please. But yeah, I want a garage the other side of the map. So, uh, possibly look at getting one. We've got enough money on us now. It all depends on if we get any damage. Uh, if the workers bring any money in, if you do know exactly what time the workers bring in money, slap it in the chat. I want to know. I need to know. And I need to know that I can sneak past this car and not get sideswiped. <coughs> oh, the pebbles! The pebbles! So. Well, actually, we got over that side. Saying there's something over there, I don't know what it is. Take me to the liquor shop. It's probably just a recruitment agency. Be fine. Be fine. Alright, well, we're out on the old open road. Time to foot, put the up foot, chip, chip, tip, dink, donk. Yep. <laughs> All I wanted to say was time to put the foot down. How the hell do I screw that one up? Who's the bit? Well, anyway, let's crack on. Let's get a foot put down. Or try. How heavy are these fireworks? It's not a Volvo, I'm off. My ass can be royally kissed. Oh, uh, I tell you what, Chris, um, you're gonna love. If I actually hit something and it does damage, oh, you wait till you see the little treat that I have in store for everyone. You are gonna love it. You're gonna love it. I'm telling you, you're gonna love it. Lucky, lucky. <clears throat> but no, it's not a Volvo. I'm not that rich, all right. And anyway, how you getting on on yours? You've literally been telling me all day about your damn Volvo. Hmm? It is a nice Volvo, though. I'll give you that one. The old uh, screenshots you sent, Mr. P. Ooh, gorgeous truck. Gorgeous. The thing that gets me is it's American truck sim and you brought a European truck. Shame on you. Get a Peterbilt. Needs to be done. Right, so, anyway, <clears throat> uh, we are delivering fireworks, always a great thing for Mr. P to deliver. Um, it was just over 2,000 miles, um, nice big job, 40 hours plus, uh, we're down to 37 hours 33 minutes, not doing too bad, uh, 1,861 miles! The bank owns mine, buddy. Yeah, I bet it does. How much? How much of a loan did you take out? Did you say four hundred thousand or something like that? 
Say, poor old Mr. P was stupid at the start. I didn't take out any loans. I don't have any mods that uh, give you extra money or give you any extra XP. I'm just bog standard. Because I just love the long jobs. But that's just me. Everyone plays the game their own way. 400. Oh, wee! <clears throat> That's a lot of money. That is a lot of money. You're gonna be wiping your ass on leaves for a while, buddy. You won't be able to afford any toilet roll. I'll lend you some of mine. You can have a square. It's quilted. Feel privileged. And scented. It smells nice. But did bring it in the truck with me today. I left it. It's in the old uh, Blaze Decepticon. So we do need to get some more polos in here and a toilet roll. Because we know Mr. P's breath stinks. And uh, don't want to get caught short, so we need the toilet roll. <laughs> and the old uh, Fandango Dangler isn't dangling anymore. The old Millennium Falcon. That is in the old Decepticon. It's okay, Mama P. But... Oh, oh, will she now? Alright, alright, alright. Hey, oh. That was close. That was close. I don't like this bit because I can't see what's. I'm, there. I'm actually there trying to go. What's over there? I used to do that with Grand Theft Auto as well. I try and look around the buildings. Oh? <laughs> but yeah, Mum P actually said she really enjoyed trying to drive the truck and it was uh, nice to speak to you all. She's always fantastic, and she knows she's loved more than Mr. P. <laughs> Feel neglected. <laughs> but no, I, I absolutely love, you know, that everybody now calls, calls her Mama P. I mean, sometimes even I look at her and go, Mama P. It's got to the point where she's Mama P. So like as soon as everybody says hello, she pipes up. As soon as uh, everyone in chat sees uh, Mama P, they ignore me. <laughs> no, but I, I just love, honestly, I absolutely love, you know, that um, you, all you guys and girls, you know, can interact with Mama P. She, I mean, I couldn't have wished for it any better, to be honest. My Mama means the world to me, she always has and always will do. Yeah, Mr. P has a soft side. All soft and squishy and gooey. I'm not always a sarcastic asswipe, but, you know, it's alright. Uh, she's my second mama. Oh, Mama P absolutely loves you, Chris. Absolutely loves you. It's like as soon as she sees you on the phone with me, tell him I said hi. Tell him I said hello. That's shaming. Yeah, ma'am. Yeah, yeah, shaming. Tell him I said hello. Tell him I said hi. Hi. <laughs> Oh dear. She like pops up in the background. Is he alright? Yeah, is he alright today? Yeah, yeah, mum, he's fine. He's, he's doing better. That's good, that's good. So, yeah. Mama P cares about everyone. Biggest heart you'll probably ever see in your life. But yeah, I absolutely love that, Chris. Absolutely, but she's my second mama. got some amazing people in my life and uh, won't change it for the world I mean since starting YouTube I have met I truly have met some amazing people you know um, they're not the biggest streamers I'm definitely not the biggest streamer but it, it doesn't matter about how big your channel is what you do where you're from all that matters is you have the connections friendship good heart and I mean I I wouldn't want to change that for the world. I mean, you could offer me all the amount of money you wanted in the world and I'd never take it because that can only give you happiness for so long but friendship with uh, some amazing people can last as long you know, as, as you make it, you know, so. You know, live your life the way you want to live it. Don't let anybody, anybody tell you you can't do anything. Don't let anybody put you down. 
and that there's no such thing as you can't do it. I mean, you look at um, how many times Thomas Edison tried to make the light bulb, you know, th hundreds and thousands of times. Uh, he failed. But then you've got to remember that that's hundreds and thousands of ways he learned that don't work, that not to do. But he carried on, and eventually there was one that worked. So never go up and never get told you can't do anything, because I'm telling you right now, you can. <clears throat> Simon popping in there like a bad smell. Yo, buddy. Hey. How you doing? You at work? Uh, my daughter is watching Mama P. And Mama P is calling. Cool. Yeah. You, oh, your daughter was watching when Mama P was driving. And yeah, Simon, uh, yesterday's stream, uh, Mama P was actually driving the truck. She tried to do a job, buddy. She tried to do a job. She needs to use my controller that I've got because she, she struggled with the keyboard, but yeah, she, she did all right. I am good, thanks, and yeah, I am at work. That is awesome. That is awesome. If you build it, they will come. Exactly. Yeah, but never let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Because then that just gives you a rhyme or reason and you'll have to try and prove everybody wrong. Even the people that believe in you and don't believe in you. Prove them all wrong. Because there is always going to be doubts in people. Even the ones that say they believe you, they trust you, they're, they're, they're faithful to you. Or, or, or no matter what it is. Do it for yourself. Be you. Don't let society deem who you are. Be your own individual. Be yourself. And uh, most people probably don't like the way I am. I'm forward, I'm upfront, I'm stupid, I'm goofy. I'm 34 and I act like a three year old sometimes. I laugh sometimes at the most inappropriate things. Uh, oh, you can buy a passenger by a way station. And um, I laugh at the most inconvenient moments. I'm still. Uh, <laughs> it's like if someone, I'm sat near someone and a fart, I laugh. I mean. I am bothered, you know, but I am the way I am and I ain't going to change for nobody. I mean, if you like me, then like me for who I am. Don't deem me or judge me. That's true, but it is, isn't it? I say the old Simon there's known me for pretty much all of my life and I ain't changed. And I'm not going to. I mean, people that say they want to be your friend, they're there for you, and all this, that, and the other, and they say, oh, you know, well, you haven't changed. But why are you, why are you friends with me then, you know? Why are you with me? I mean, come on, you, you shouldn't have to change for emotions or, or, or friendships or anything to change. <laughs> if you can't hack it, get a jacket. Exactly, if you can't hack it, get a jacket, piss off. Simple. <laughs> da 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 da. Whee! I tell you what though, you really are going to be in for a good surprise when we crash. I've got an absolute scorching thing that will pop up on the screen. Oh yeah. Did it today. <laughs> Took a while. But geez, OBS. Oh, Streamlabs OBS. Oh. There are times when it can be your best friend. And there are times when you want to give it a pillow fight with a crowbar hidden in your pillowcase. I'm telling you. Oh. Oh. But yeah, if you ask old Simon there, I have never changed. I've always been the same useless, dopey, funny, sarcastic, idiotic. Just look up a dictionary. You'll probably find some more words. <laughs> Ain't gonna change. Why should I? I'm me. I'm an individual. I'm myself. I don't categorise myself as smart. I don't categorise myself as stupid. I know what I want to know and what I need to know. Everything else is irrelevant. Uh, Sib has been an amazing friend in hard times. Yeah, see, it's... That's it, and I want to make sure I cover up this logo. I know, that's ironic, just going past that truck. Oh... Yeah, you know, this amazing. Since I've been doing the whole streaming thing, I've I really have met some amazing people. The likes of yourself, Chris, the old shaming man, uh, Seba, 
uh, Farmer Rev, um, Rusty Money Gaming, uh, Bruce, Jelsa Farmer, uh, and, and A Farming Trucker. I mean, you are all absolutely fantastic. I mean, I think it, it was the only the other day where uh, on Discord, me, um, Farmer Rev, the shaming man, and uh, oh, she's dead. Yeah, ass wipe. Um, the shaming man. Yeah, me, Rev, the shaming man, and A Farming Trucker was all on a vis video Discord call. That was funny. That was that was really entertaining. Uh, clumsy, naft, crazy, shithead, all the time. Yeah, and I'm, I'm never going to change. I mean, if people can't accept you for who you are, they shouldn't be your friend. Uh, and if you're with someone who says, oh, you know, well, it's not the same anymore. You know, you haven't changed. But why are you with me? It's not that a person should have to change. Whoa! Well, that didn't go as planned, did it? Tis but a scratch. Yes, it is. It is just a scratch. <laughs> Did you like it? Let me know. Tis but a scratch. But the old camera moved on me and that threw me off. It went way up. Let's go fly a kite. Right, let's get out of the old cab. Completely forgot about that. Said I'd get out of the cab at seven o'clock, and I'm still going. <laughs> but there we go. We're in the old Moana. Look at that. With Maui. Make way, make way. Get out my fucking way. I ram you off the road real hard. If you can't support me at my yeah. If they can't support you, will be there at your worst. They don't deserve to be there during the best. I don't know. I don't know how, yeah, I don't know how you've coped either, buddy. Honestly, I don't. But I will never change. I am not changing for anybody. If they can't accept me for who I am, then... Uh, fuck off! <laughs> I robbed that from Man United. Ah. Uh, yeah, if you can't support... Yeah. That is true, though. If you, if you can't be there for me as a friend during my worst of times, you, do, you don't deserve to be there for the best. I mean, you can't say, oh yeah, well, yeah. i tell you what though, you soon figure out and work out who your friends are when you're going through a rough patch. Oh, gone like a bag of sweets, ain't you? It's like you get some sweets, you see the wrapper and you're like, all excited, you open the bag, there's two there, you're like, where the fuck have all the others gone? They're just like up and out. Oh yeah, well he's not happy now, let's fuck up. And then they come waddling back in when you're having a good time. Oh you're alright, mate! <laughs> Piss off. Uh hell yeah you do, mate. Yeah. Soon find out who your bloody friends are. I mean I've old I've known old pencil neck Simon there for many years, many years. It's over 30 years, I believe, now. Come on, potato head. I know. I know. I tell you what, though, Chris. If ever you needed me, buddy, I'm telling you, I would be there. No matter what. Bad doubt. You know, if you was going through a rough patch and you needed me over there in Ireland, buddy, I'm telling you, I'd be down there. Be right back there from old pencil next time, and okie dokie, buddy. That's what friends do. Ain't no mountain high enough. Was that Jeep towing the other Jeep? That's called reliable. Right, just cover the old logo on this thing just in case. Ah, it's like a camel drinking, wasn't it? Right, so 1,590 miles left. 30 hours, 33 minutes. Gonna get there around 6, 16 p.m. 
Toe job. <laughs> could be worse, it could be toe jam. Oh, we heard they're making a, a new Space Jam movie. Oh, I'm excited. Welcome to the Space Jam. Alright. Looking forward to that. I wanted to make a new Pacific Rim movie. That movie was awesome with old Gypsy Danger. Ooh. Or a new Justice League. Or uh, a new, I would say a new Avengers, but they've probably gone the course with that. They're probably just going to split it off now and make separate ones. I do believe they're making um, one called Wakanda or something like that. I'm not entirely sure. Just like a quick glimpse of new and upcomings. There's some really good horror movies coming out. I'm looking forward to those. Mr. P does like a good horror and a thriller movie. Because as a child, I used to watch uh, the likes of Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. I used to uh, watch the old uh, Hellraiser with Pinhead. Chucky, the original, not this useless one that's just useless. Hauling ass, like, oh, Hauling ass like the ex when she owed the light bill. That's what it was. <clears throat> when it's your turn to pay for something, it's fine, but as soon as they have to haul out of pocket, just tell her you can't, you've got a headache. Whoops. <laughs> can't pay the rent this week, love, got a headache. That red car just pulled out. The omen and the pot. Oh yeah, the omen and the pot, guys. Mhm. Mm Good movies. I'm trying to think. Of the Exorcist. The original, not that useless one. What was it? The Exorcist of Emily Rose. I'm not going to rephrase the words in that because I probably will get done and in trouble, get the old uh, Facebook slap. Oh, now you decide to pull over car, you absolute spanner. But they were good movies. I, like, I really like the actual, uh, I loved uh, the old Transformers movies. I loved them. They were really good. Uh, I'm a Harry Potter boff. I do like the old Harry Potter movies. And uh, yes, I have been sorted into a house. Uh, I am Hufflepuff. The Badger. Yeah, I didn't get Gryffindor or Slytherin, but... Puff, puff, puff. And the old guy. Right, what, 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 what? From them sleepless nights. Uh, not sure. The Omen, wasn't that the wrestler that played in that? Is it, is it Kane? I can't remember his real name. I think he was the guy that played the omen. I actually watched the omen, I think it's like six weeks ago. I actually sat and watched the omen. Oh. So, who's everybody's favourite actor? Mine's Johnny Depp. Jim Carrey, I have to. Jim Carrey and Johnny Depp. Jim Carrey, because he is just, he's an absolute classic. And the likes of The Mask, me, myself, and Irene, and oh, just so many more fantastic movies. Absolutely brilliant. Robin Williams was another good one. No, the original. The, oh, the original. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I watched the, the recent one about six weeks ago. J D J C J C J D Johnny Depp J 
Jim Carrey. Oh yeah, Jim Carrey and Jackie Chan. I had to think then. Kevin Hart. Oh, Kevin Hart's for anyone. Oh, Will Farrell, yeah. Uh, you seen him in, is it, what is it, Brothers or something like that? Really funny. When you have a fight over the bed. Yeah, I think Kevin Hart and uh, Dwayne Johnson, you put them two together in a movie. It is funny. Johnny Depp, Jim Carrey, and uh, Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan did some really good movies. Um, yeah. And I think uh, that's Chris's reply on the old JD, JC, JC. Uh huh. Step brothers. Oh, yeah, gee, step brothers can get hard. Step Brothers cracked me up when he said, Shut up, I'm trying to bury you. Uh, oh dear. When he said, Don't touch his drum kit, he puts more than the old uh, drum skin on the old uh, top, doesn't he? I'm trying to think of some other really funny movies. Uh, the Jumanji movies, the new ones, they made me laugh because just Dwayne Johnson and Chris Rock in those movies together just, oh, Kevin Hart, sorry, just absolutely crack me up. They really do. And then you got the likes of uh, Jack Black in there. We can build bunk, build bunk beds. Oh yeah, when they put beds on the top and it just collapses. <laughs> when they make a rap video. Owen Wilson and Chris Tucker. Oh yeah. In, oh, engine malfunction, what? Get lost. Yeah, Owen Wilson and... Oh jeez, yeah. In Night at the Museum, the old cowboy and... Uh, uh, the old cowboy and uh, the Roman. <laughs> When they're going in the RC car, ah, that is yeah. You all, you always get some actors that are just amazing together. They complement each other. They really do. Have you ever watched me myself and hose and boats, hose and boats? Yeah. <laughs> Oh dear. You ever watched Me, Myself and Irene? You want to watch that with Jim Carrey? Me, Myself and Irene. Uh, it's where the Jim Carrey plays a uh, an officer. And um, it has like a nervous breakdown and it, it, it gives him a split personality. Jeez, it is so funny. It's like, his split personality is like a hard ass called Hank. And uh, it pops out every now and again, you know. And Hank will pop out, look up, spit up, and he'll go, huh? And he just lands straight in his own face, and he'll go, <laughs> when he wakes up, he's got that picture there, the hand lotion tissues, and. Oh dear. Oh, there's something about Mary. That's funny. Is that hair gel? <laughs> Me, Max, and Glenn. Yeah. <laughs> Me, Max and Glenn. Oh jeez, yeah. So when when's Glenn doing the actual takeover then? We know it's coming. Yup, wobbly. Oh, someone's just been pulled over. I'm surprised it's not me. Yeah, there's some movies out there where you just cannot help but laugh. Me, myself, and Irene when he when he makes a bet about the uh, the chicken's egg. Will it crack? Uh, please pull in for a vehicle inspection. White chicks. Oh, jeez, yeah, that is funny. When he's in the car, pulls it side of him. 
Making my way downtown, driving fast, pace is fast, and I'm homebound. Diddle 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 diddle. When I need you, when I want you. Or when he's in the nightclub with the old glow sticks. <laughs> oh dear, yeah. There are some brilliant movies. Your vehicle is not in technical state required by law. You have to fix it. Kiss my ass, buddy. Might record it tomorrow. Oh. Might record it tomorrow or do it live with me. Oh. Yeah, the Wayne Brothers. Oh, scary movie. What's your favorite scary movie? <laughs> What's up? The Notebook. Oh, The Notebook's funny. With. Oh. With um, Hugh Jackman, not Hugh Jackman. Um, with uh, Morgan Freeman and um, oh, jeez, what's his name? Can't remember the other guy's name. I know who it is. I can see his face in my head. But Morgan Freeman and yeah, yeah, yeah. Very sad but beautiful. How they've mixed in the sadness with the comedy. You play again, Mr. Plea, live multi-role play. Oh, jeez. How the hell am I going to do Glenn's voice? How the heck am I going to do it? You ever seen the movie Anger Management? That's funny. I feel pretty. Oh, so pretty. <laughs> Oh dear. No patience required? Well, I've got none. Oh. Oh my god. I sent Millie a voice clip. Uh, scared her. So that. Jeez, really? <laughs> oh dear. Uh, uh. Go on, try Glenn. Uh. I, I can't remember what his actual accent sounds like. Just do a little voice clip on the old messenger for me and we'll listen to it. And I'll try and do it on live stream if I can. I'll try and do it. Seriously? That would have been another one of those. You know it would have. Telling you. Okay, try Max. I can't do Max. Can't do it, it hurts my throat. I don't know how you keep it up with the old Max one. Because you've got to do that like weird raspy voice. And it, like it's like it rattles your throat and it hurts. I don't know how you do it. Especially for long periods of time. It's got to take the old toll on the old throat box. But yeah, I can't do Max. We squeeze through. Yes, we can, and no damage. What was that that popped up? What? What was that popped up about a scratch something? Oh, it's off Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Uh, there's like a knight, and he gets his arms cut off, and he goes, "Tis but a scratch, but I cut off your arms. It's just a flesh wound." Really funny, you want to watch it. Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Really funny. Adult humour. So be prepared. But it's uh, this. That's what it is. Can you see it? Tis but a scratch. That's what's going to pop up every time we have a, a, a little niggle or a crash. Tis but a scratch. Hopefully it's gone off. Yes, it has. Gorgeous. But yeah, that's what it is. I say, every time we crash, tis but a scratch will pop up. Ooh, LOL. 
Yep. Took me a while to try and find one that wasn't too long. Um, but I was going to try and find one with like the voiceover as well, but with all the audio stuff and everything that I've got on, yeah, it, it wasn't happening. Uh, what you've just sent me, buddy, is that the voice of Glenn? Because I don't want to open it and it says something completely inappropriate and I'm like... I, honestly, I don't think I'll be able to do the voice of Glenn either. I mean, I struggle to do this voice for Mr. P. I mean... Don't know how we'll keep it up. Right, so, wow, we got... Ain't got that long left, look at that. 1,138... 1,147,000 1, miles left. 23 hours, 6 minutes. That has gone really fast. It's amazing what happens when you have some good banter. So what other movies can you think of that are really funny? Monty Python and the Holy Grail. Clockwork Orange. Austin Powers. Max gave you a message. Oh, I'm sure he did. Dare I listen to it during the stream? Dare I listen to it? Because the mic will pick it up. Not happening. Tis but a scratch. Oh yeah, that's exactly what the R shoulder was made for. Alright, so the shaming man has sent a message. Let's uh, see what it is just for you. Oh. Right, are you ready to hear this, everybody? Oh dear. So there you go. You heard it. So you got to do that. You've been warned. Just for you. Thanks, buddy. Uh, baby, be right back. Okie dokie, beautiful. Okie dokie. That was nice, though, Chris, buddy. That was nice. Appreciate it. Better than getting a punch in the old fat box. The puppet has spoken. Yes, it has. Indeed. <laughs> Louisiana Boulevard. So, we've gone a fair few miles already. We've only got 1,105 miles left. 22 hours, 9... 22 hours, 18 minutes left. I'm 
Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. We'll get it down. And Moana. Make way. Make way. The fart box is coming through. So, I'll tell you what, this truck really does suit the old Walmart, doesn't it? A Walmart. 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 I probably talk absolute wind. People are looking at the screen going, Psst, you're right he says that. <laughs> Commoner. Organic. So what are you doing there, Chris? What are you doing, buddy? What are you up to? In the next stop, can you jump out and get me some polos? And some toilet roll? But I definitely will have to look at getting an Volvo, because the one you've got, that does look really nice. It's no green pickle, exactly. It's the tickle pickle. No, I can't remember what you called it. What did you call it again? I can't remember. <laughs> Should have done it brown and called it fat box. <laughs> oh dear. Look at that view. Slugworth. That's it. Slugworth, that just reminds me of Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Trying to steal the secret formula. His name is Slugworth. It's probably where you got it from. The really old version, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The only time if his dad granddad's ever get out of his bed when he gets to see a chocolate factory. A good movie though. movie. So I'm getting deja vu. Seems like all they ever do is go on this road. The everlasting gobstopper. Yeah, that's it. Snozberry? Who's ever heard of a snozberry? Yep. I want one and I want one now. But Veronica... Augustus, no! I've got an over-riddle for you. What do you get when you're driving a truck? Shit out of luck and you wreck it like fuck. <laughs> oh dear. So where the hell do I come up with all this crap? It's just like my mind's like a fluffy little cloud. So I hope I make you all smile, make your night worthwhile. And if you're anywhere near me, make your night worthwhile. Or your early morning worthwhile, or your afternoon worthwhile, or your evening worthwhile, or you, you get the point. Da. The all in one gum. Blueberry bar. Insane in the membrane. Yep. Never claimed to be normal. Never claimed to be normal. <laughs> if that's your portrayal of me, then <laughs> you've got poor choices. I'll tell you what did make me laugh though, when you told me Mr. P is the shaming man, and I sat there thinking to myself, well, I'm not Irish. I don't sound Irish. I'm not from Ireland. 
I can't do the accents. I can't do Maxi's accent. Can't do Glenn's accent. I've not done any series or anything <laughs> on um, the Creative Dreams. Normal is boring. That's why. Yeah, exactly. Normal's boring. Normal's overrated. Don't like being normal. Mr. P's exciting. You never know what's gonna what he's gonna say every three seconds. Or do. Or face the expressions. Makes for an exciting time, it does. I see that road going all the way down there, but I wonder if you can actually get on it. So what is the uh, the shaming man's plans for tomorrow? Actually, what's everybody's plans for tomorrow? Come on, get in chat, smell your deodorant. You can't look, get in here. Beautiful rain, because that's all we needed. Are my light's even on. Yep. But would you think my lights are on? Nope. But we do have a realistic rain texture. Let's go in cabin, we'll have a look at that. Ooh, look at that, gorgeous. Let's get the old wipers on. The girls are out, am I good? Ooh. Nice. Have you ever actually found anything good going out metal detecting? Because I know it. I know the thing is, you know, if you find something, it's yours. And you ever found something and gone, "Wow, that's that that's awesome. That's definitely made like just the trip going out worthwhile." Trailer damage. What did I hit? What did I hit? Tis but a scratch. Come on now. Wow, it really doesn't seem like my lights are on, does it? This realistic rain texture on the old windows. Beautiful. Right, so we've got 889 miles left. Uh, 18 hours. I will send you a food pics to Mars. Oh, that's awesome. That is awesome. Trailer damage. Trailer damage. Twas but a scratch. Come on now. Look forward to seeing them, buddy, if you get anything decent. So where do you go? Do you just go walking around in, like, the woods, the forested area, fields, farms? Where do you go? <sighs> My mate has a 150-acre farm. Nice. What's that flashing over there? Too, it's not too bad driving in cab when it's raining. Look at that. It's actually pretty relaxing. I actually do like going out in the old rain. Gotta got say, it does make the roads really slick, <coughs> but it is nice. Hundred and sixty-nine miles. We've got 17 hours, 37 minutes. I'm gonna get there around 141. One, two, one, two. I'm gonna get there around uh, 140. Close enough. That'll do me. But this rain, oh, hopefully it stops soon. 
And I do wish that, you know, when it rained, it did impact your tyres and you, like, slid a little bit. Like a little bit of slickness on the road. But I know it doesn't do that. Where is Rev tonight? Um... I don't know. Message him. See if he's going to be online later. I have no idea. Because I, th I know he's, he was thinking about uh, going live later. He was thinking about it. Oh, how did I know we'll be going through Amarillo? Would it be worth actually getting a garage in Amarillo? We're always going through it. Tim Taylor there. Hi, buddy! Are you... I'm sorry to ask this, but are you the person that thought I was the shaming man? Because <laughs> I heard that somebody thought Mr. P Gaming's channel was just the shaming man, but with a different name. As you can see, it's not. Mr. P's here. But well, hi, buddy. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to Mr. P. As you can tell, not Irish. Don't live in Ireland. Mr. P. Thick and I'm creamy, like a nice Greek style yogurt. But I hope you're having a great day there, Tim, buddy. Hope you're having a good one. Right, so we've got 838 miles left to go. 16 hours, 58 minutes. I'm back! Welcome back, beautiful. Welcome back. Uh, it's been raining, and actually it sounded really nice in cap. Um, wow. There's me going, wow, it's dark out. My lights should be on. <laughs> Was they screwery? No, they wasn't on. Uh, guess who's back? Back again. Baby's back. Tell a friend. Oh, jeez. I should have stopped there. I needed fuel. Ah, so who's in the old buddy seat with Mr. P tonight? You really should have told me that was a fuel station there. Oh, there we go. That sexy little button. Oh, gives Mr. P the old mangasm. Again. Mm. My buddy seat. Uh, buggery, 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 No, 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 no. Forward, 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 forward. Uh, according to my screen, Chris, um, Linda's popped up first. According to my screen, Linda's popped up first. So I'm afraid. I'm afraid you've got to sit on the roof again, Chris. You've got to sit on the roof again. You can gaze at the stars. I'll put down the blanket for you. Yeah, we do need to... Oh, there's a sexy little tag. Thanks for that, Chris. Truly appreciate it. Let's go in cab for a bit. Let's turn the old wipers off. There we are. There, the old explanation followers. Well, my screen tells me a different story. But mine tells... Literally, on my... Oh, on my screen... Linda's popped up literally about one and a half, about one second just before yours. Literally just. It is close. I mean, you're both definitely fighting for the old buddy seat. Is there two seats? Oh, there's a seat and a bed. One of you can sit on the old bed. So who's getting on the old buddy seat and who's going to sit on the bed? We've got a bed on there, you can sit down for a bit. So we've got a buddy seat and a bed. You 
can both come along for a ride. My screen brings all the boys to the yard. Oh. <coughs> You're fighting over this bed, aren't you? You're fighting over the bed. I'll take the bed. I'll have the bed. <laughs> no, come on. You need to decide between yourselves. You gotta fight against yourselves. I'm driving. You can fight among yourselves. Okay. Whoa, wait a minute. Why did my engine malfunction? What? I like fight among yourselves. Fighting over the body seat, now you're fighting over the bed. Does it even have a pillow? Oh, it does have a pillow. Uh. Um, I'll sit on his lap, on your lap, Mr. Pete. What, what are you two like joined on the mind? What is this? Are you two like joined on the mind or something? Because you both said about the buddy seat. Then you both said about the bed. Then you both said about sitting on my lap. What? <laughs> what is it, you twins? <laughs> Secretly twins. What's the chances of that? Three times. Three times. Chances of that are astronomical, I'm telling you. Mine's think like that, they definitely do. Uh, please pull in for an inspection. Alrighty then. Do need fuel. Oh, Moana's getting pretty low. Your vehicle is not in any technical step. Whatever! Don't care. Jeez, that actually burnt my throat. Oh. <clears throat> right, so there is a fuel station just up here on the right hand side. I think we might just have to stop off in uh, Childress. Hopefully there's a right turning up here somewhere. Just a better get a bit of squirty squirt, the old go go juice. That truck drives like an Irish girl, how is that? Oh, I'm not waiting in all that traffic. Yeah, we'll get the next stop. We'll get the next stop, I think. Don't want to risk cutting through. Tie me to the hood. <laughs> Jeez. It's not hunting season, beautiful. I'm going to tie you to the hood. Well, technically I could do if he was wearing a skirt. Um, Drinks, not drives. Ah, right, okay, I got it. But no, we can share. Baby, baby can be on the buddy seat. Holding my hand. Because I'm nice like that, you see. Oh, and there's a police car. And, uh, Shamey can just flop on the bed over there. 
Hey, yo, 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 oh, 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 I need fuel, I need fuel. You weren't gonna tell me, was you? Gee. Just can't get the stuff nowadays. Let me over it. <laughs> oh dear. Stephanie just earned us $5,663. Lovely. Freedom! Road. I'm at a pit bone trying to go home. A really good song there by Maroon 5. <clears throat> you still really like those songs that I sent you on the old Discord, don't you, Chris? <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's get cracking. We've got 737 miles, 36 miles to go now. 14 hours, 52 minutes till we get to our just addition. It's just a little crush. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Every time we touch. Uh. Yeah, that's a good song as well. I just knocked my desk. Great start. Oh, this. Oh. Just a little stretch. A little bit of Monica in my life. A little bit of Erica by my side. A little bit of Tina is what I need. Oh, hello, is me you're looking for? I can see it in your eyes. I can see it in your smile. It sounds like the whole. Ooh, 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 ee, ooh, ah, ah, ding, ding, walla walla, bing, bang. It sounds like the whole street woke him right back up. Oh wow. Well, that isn't good. The old noise flying past and uh, waking him up. I know you, you, you do often struggle getting him to sleep. Hope he falls back to sleep. Give you a little bit of a rest. Definitely need it. You've had a very busy and stressful few days. My uh, he, my uh, ho, my uh, ho. My, uh, uh, uh. my ear it really it just is it just me it's like when you wear headphones for a set amount of time it just starts to make you feel make your ears feel like they're sweating it's just really weird really weird right, so we're gonna get there around Monday 1 36 p.m. Maybe there were shots fired, shots fired, shots fired. Maybe. Maybe. Oh. Uh, Joe Nichols, I'll wait for you. Uh, look that up. I you'll have to send me that in messenger because I will not be able to do anything right now and remember that you'll definitely have to send me that on messenger because yeah <laughs> <clears throat> but 
but I'm sure I've heard of that song. I'm pretty sure I've heard of that. Look, Brian Rocks. There they were looking for. There they were looking for Mr. P and all that good stuff. Ah, right. Uh, all the times that uh, I've broke the law. <laughs> all those uh, speeding fines. <laughs> My bad. Hope this is the right way. Yep, that was lucky. Can I send on Messenger too? Yeah, if you want to. My phone's on silent. Go right ahead. So we've got your crime is stealing the shaming man's heart. Oh, I haven't stolen anybody's heart. People give it freely. Then the day, if I can help anybody out, I will do. Never too busy to help anybody. Never too busy. The time you start saying you've not got enough time for anybody, then... Bromance. <laughs> yeah, that it is. Definitely bromance. Oh, my leg itches. Just on the inside of the thigh. Ooh. <clears throat> right, let's take the old Mr. P shortcut. Watch there be a barrier up here or something. Yeah, that was close. There. I said it. Last night at school. <laughs> yep. I can tell. I can tell. Yeah, he's a good lad, he's Chris. He's a good lad. Love him like a brother. Brotherly love. Two, well, we really are good doing well at getting this time down, and we haven't completely wrecked yet. That, in itself, is a feat. Well, we're doing well. FedEx, wonder what they're uh, dishing out. Right, so, uh, Decatur again. We're going through here a lot. And uh, you're probably getting fed up with me going through Amarillo, going through Decatur. That's why I do want to try and look for... Um, garage over the other side of the old states would be nice so we don't have to keep going all the way back to go all the way back we can just literally jump out the garage but at least one of the workers is doing alright I wonder how Bob's getting on in the old Decepticon blaze eyes in your bum bum so it must be <laughs> jeez oh dear yeah, that's disturbing. <laughs> oh dear. So how long are you planning on um, going out and make the metal detecting there, Chris, tomorrow? How long? How long does it normally take you when you go out with the old metal detector? Do you give yourself like a time limit to stay out, or what do you do? Questions have been asked and answers are being awaited for. Oh, jeez, oh, good. Oh, 
Good job, we needed to go up here, wasn't it? We're paying attention. So what does uh, my beautiful baby have planned? What are your plans, my dear? Apart from talking to the one, the only, Mr. P. Wow, that long? Jeez, eight hours. Yeah, I definitely want to take a lunch and that and all. Jeez. It's a long time. I didn't think you'd go, you know, I didn't think you'd be there for like eight hours. Because if it was me, I'd probably go out there within ten minutes. If I didn't find anything, I'd give up. But actually, I don't think I would. You know, because I love things like that. Going out. Um love it but round where I live I mean due to the whole pandemic stuff you know slowly dimming off now but still doesn't really make it easy to get out and do things you want to do plus I, uh, we live in the middle of absolutely a bumfuck nugget nowhere so there's always that Right, so we're coming up to Dallas. We've only got 573... Seriously, 73 miles. It's going to take 11 hours, 31 minutes. So we're really, really not that far away. Considering it was over 2,000 miles. We are doing pretty good for time. Eight hours. That's shock that really has shocked me. I did not think you'd be saying eight hours. I thought you'd say like an hour to two hours. But you say once you find one thing, it, it, it you know, it probably spurs you on to look for more. I mean I used to look I know I'm only, you know, pretty young. I would say young, but I'm not really young, thirty four. But I used to love uh, watching Time Team and Archaeological Digs. Uh, is it like what's that show that they used to have uh, Alan Titchmarsh and that Charlie and and all that? Was it Ground Force? Um, I, I can't remember. Oh, Gardens. Some I don't know, but that was really good. I used to love watching things like that. Just fascinates me all the old stuff they find, like the coins, uh, the the buttons, belt buckles, pottery, and all things like that. I mean, that that all that really does fascinate me. But they find like all the old buttons for the the suits and um, old flint weapons. Absolutely, br absolutely brilliant. And I really need to stop rocking. I'm shaking my leg. I need to stop it. Bad habit. Really bad habit. Did I upset that Tim? Did it upset him? I hope not. Just I I I am I, I, I do think it was him that said I was shaming, man. No. Alright, so what have we got? We have 10 hours, 11 minutes, 
And we got uh, 505 mar. Engine malfunction. Seriously? Ugh. 501 miles. Gonna get there around 11:51 a.m. So a nice uh, mid-morning delivery. Gorgeous. Not too bad. Oh, what day is it tomorrow? I'm trying to think. Well, for me now, it's Friday. It is 3.16 in the morning. So what I think we will do is we'll get this job done. We'll then head on over, buy, and uh, we'll try and look for a close garage. Uh, we'll uh, see how much money it's going to cost to buy the garage. We'll then look at buying a truck and getting another worker. And then I think we will call it a stream there. Do want to finish a little bit earlier today? Nice little early stream. Do have a few things that do need to be sorted out in real life, and they are far more important. Real life, as I've said, will always come first. I've got a busy day tomorrow. Tomorrow, I've got to go into town. That's always exciting. Don't really like doing that because everyone looks at you like you've got the plague. Sorry, lost connection. Hey, you're alright, buddy. You're alright. No worries. No worries at all. No worries at all. Alright, so 447 miles left. Uh, 8 hours 56 minutes. Lovely, lovely. So I do think a farming trucker is going to be streaming on the old... Hey, oh, there. The heck happened there? I went to pull into this, just this, literally just this right lane, and it oversteered me. Uh, okay. Well, whatever floats your boat, we know it won't take long. So, what is it? Tis but a scratch. Uh, Tis but a scratch. Oh, my camera went funky. What went on there? Don't like it. You need to pull out. I know. I literally just went a little bit and for some reason. I just went to pull over into the next lane and it went, hey, up, straight across, like a rebel. It wanted damage, that's what it did, it wanted damage. <laughs> mm. But yeah, we're really not doing too bad, the old engine's a bit sponged now. 423 miles, 8 hours, 30 minutes. Gonna get there around uh, 11.25 in the morning. Why pull out? Just why? <laughs> uh, I really need to stop rocking because I'm rocking the camera because I rock my monitor. Oh, the old little set. Oh, jeez, come on now. All that she wants by the Acer base. All that she wants is another baby. She's gone tomorrow, boy. That demon is another baby. Eeeh. That's a really good song by the Ace of Base. Got another one, aren't there? I saw the sign, and it opened up my eyes. I saw the sign. Oh, come on now. Watch us rock the mic exactly like it was meant to be. Ha ha ha, soul. <laughs> oh dear. 
<clears throat> but yeah, you know, you've got to have confidence, really, and you? you can't sit there going. Me, just don't care. Don't care at all. I really need to stop rocking my leg because he's rocking my arm and rocking the screen that shocks the camera. Somewhere over the rainbow, we are Yeah, I know that song. Yeah, I know that one. Lovely, beautiful, mellow song. I love it. Gorgeous. Oh, I know, right? <coughs> I got the voice of a thousand pigeons. Is there a mod to skip? No. Oh, jeez. Tis but a scratch. Uh, there are console commands, but I don't have them because I actually enjoy driving at night in cab, so I don't really mind. But yeah. Larry! <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, Larry the goldfish will be missed. The old goldfish that drowned. Ah, oh, R.I.P. Larry. But yeah, I love that song though. So mellow. Somewhere over the rainbow we <laughs> Like, it's Ventura. All right, do that. Yep. Uh, I love the bit where he's, like, he's in that like, pretend rhino and all of a sudden his little finger pops out. And all of a sudden his head pops out. Look, Ma! <laughs> I think the rhino's giving birth and then he just flops out because the fan pack's in. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. Guano! When he gets the. <laughs> when he's in that fight and he gets the spears thrown at him. <laughs> oh dear. Here, take my strong hand, my child. Give me your other hand. <laughs> yeah, scary movie. When he mashes the potatoes. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> funny movie, though. Really funny. When he gets rolled up in the blanket and it sets his hair on fire. <laughs> oh dear. Right, so we're going through Alexandria. You love it. Right, so we got 324 miles left to go. Uh, we're on 6 hours 30 minutes till we get to our destination. We're going to get there around 10.58 in the morning. We are slowly getting that time down. The nightmares that huh? <laughs> oh dear, the nightmares that hand could give you. Yeah, I know, right? Just imagine. Come here, my love. Let me brush your hair. Uh. Just imagine him trying to stroke your face. T oh, come on, Moana. Don't let me down. Oh, oh. That beautiful sexiness that was. Did you see it? It is. There. Somewhere. Around there. Uh, depends on the kind of dreams. You gotta be having the wrong dreams if you want that. Nah, I'm good on that. I would be as well. In all fairness. Take take a skip. Brian Smith popping in morning. How you doing, Brian? 
How you doing, buddy? It was me! Just, just reminds me of the Grinch. <laughs> it was me! How you doing, Brian, this morning? How you doing, buddy? Hope you're having a fantastic morning. As you can see, we're going out in the old Moana. Uh, gonna draw. Okie dokie, I'm finishing this job. We're gonna go find a garage we can buy that's pretty close. We're gonna hire a worker, buy a truck, and that will be the end of the stream. As I just woke up. Excuses, me thinks. Late for you, and it'll be waking up now. Then, uh, um, the old Moana's got a bit of damage. Hi, Linda. Bye, Linda. <laughs> oh, dear. You cracked me up. Moana, you need to stop having these engine troubles as we're going to be having the talk. You will be replaced if you carry on. Or we could just buy another truck and let somebody else use this one. Just gives me an excuse to go out in a different one. Hi, sexy Brian. Telling you. He's giving you all those signals, Brian. He's giving you the signals. We are the Discord gang. <laughs> oh, that was a good that was a good call, I gotta say, that was a good call. Waking up to this fuckery <laughs> and shenanigans sounds all right. Oh, tis but a scratch. Good morning, Mr. Chris. Oh, when he's blowing kisses. Oh, the love that is being felt right now. Can you feel the love tonight? Tonight! <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm not leaving. I'll just... I'll be peeping. Oh! Peeking in the letter... Uh, peeking through your window and screaming through your letterbox. Baby is on alert. So, 223 miles left. Uh, we've got 4 hours, 28 minutes. And we're going to get there around a beautiful and sexy 11.46, was that? Don't know, the engine cut out. Live 39, there we go. Wow, first person. Nice, dude. Yeah, just thought we'd go first person for a little bit. Why not throw the boat out? But how you doing, Matthew? Hope you're doing alright, buddy. And oh, yeah. Uh, Moana's got a bit of engine trouble. Have you seen Moana? The newest member of the fleet. Have you seen it, Matthew? Have you seen it? If not, we'll show you it. Dry dreams and wet farts. Hello, 40. Oh, jeez. You'll be wearing diapers next. The old man pads. <laughs> Pretty good. Had me a nice nap. Nice. And some games with coal. I'm jealous. Get a PC. 
And cats outside my window. Jeez, really? The cats always seem to be fighting outside your window. Are you ready to be amazed here, Matt? Look at it. Moana. Make way, make way. It is a beauty. Oh, yeah. That's what we're rocking. And the engine malfunctioned. It is a sexy old rig. It's not the mod of all mods, but to me, it's mine. It's mine, and it's mine. So. It's gorgeous to me. And that is all that matters. Oh, I heard that sexy sexiness. Thank you very much for that. Truly means a lot. Sweet rig, I know. Her and uh, her missing black cat. Yeah, you get a lot of cats that fight outside yours. A lot of cats. It's like, you know, you tell me time and time again that there's cats fighting. You need a... Oh, they're, they're built like tanks, aren't they, Volvos? Like, I remember years ago when I was a kid. Um, the Volvos then, I mean, you could probably drive into a house... And the house is worse off than the car, and the car's like, oh, jeez, I think I just hit a flight. Yeah, Volvo, Volvos are built like absolute tanks. Look at those rays. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we will look at a Volvo, possibly. It just depends on price, because the in-game trucks, they are expensive. They really are expensive. I mean, this old girl cost me 50-odd grand. Well, I think it's like 54,000 this cost me. Four male cats, two for me, female cats. Go, yeah. Say, so the old cats do make some noise, don't they? My truck is the fag paper in the rain. <laughs> oh dear, Brian, you cracked me up, buddy. You cracked me up. Tell you what, though, the bed you had in the back of it and the pillow did look awfully comfy. Did look comfy. Still gutted you didn't share your chocolates. You didn't even had a kit cat. Junky. Beating chair. I felt so unloved. Oh, jeez, come on. Yeah, I've got a few issues. I wonder if we absolutely screwed this truck up. Got to the, you know, dropped the job off. But I've put over USA. Are you in right now? Now, right now, uh, we are just going through. There's New Orleans. We've been through Lafayette, uh, Baton Rouge. We we're going through here. We're going through through Gulfport, and then we're going all the way over here to our destination in Mobile. How many victims would that hold? I know, right? Uh, cheese and chunk. Oh, jeez. You have an insurance job on the truck. Woof. But you know what? When I crash, tis but a scratch. <laughs> I love that. Uh, any people tolerate? Uh. But yeah, that's where we are, Matt. That's where we are, buddy. But Brian, though. Me. 
Chris and Rev was all, all on video call and you did not offer any chocolate. Uh, oh, chocolate! <laughs> I love a cuddle there. <laughs> Uh, hell yeah, dude, that's right where I am at. Uh, area has also golf port. Oh! Yeah, there we go, golf port. That's where we're heading through. Heading through golf port. To the old Moana. Make way, make way. The Discord pack. Exactly. If anybody doesn't have me on Discord, you're missing out. Disco Inferno. Should be Discord. Disco Inferno. Silly day. <laughs> hey, daddy. I am the daddy. Alright, where have we got? We've got 2 hours 27 minutes left. 120 miles. Knocking them down. Knocking them down. Got a fair bit of damage, but you know what that is, don't you? Tis but a scratch. Oh, I said that. No, look, you're starting. Look, come on, Moana. There we go. Didn't get my night night phone call. Oh, Mississippi. Mrs. M, Mrs. I, Mrs. S, S, I, Mrs. S, 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 Did we upset you that we didn't call you last night? Did it really upset you? When they know how upset me, Chris and Rev were when you did not offer chocolate. Four amigos. <laughs> How many S's in Mississippi? It's got four. It's got four. M I S S I S S I P P I. It's got four S's in it. Yes. Mr. P can spell. Are you amazed? But yet I have to count to one on two hands. Is that your final answer? Yes. Yep. Please pull in for. Oh, jeez. Uh, I bet the blood, the officer stood here just rubbing his hands going, Excellent. Yes. We've got a mug here, boys. Uh, am I cooking? Oh, jeez. Tis but a scratch. Alright, uh. Just pull in here. All you did was show the bag, you did not show the goods. Disgusting. Alright, uh, what have we got, what have we got, what have we got? Mission up a chart. M I crooked letter, crooked letter, I hump back, hump back, I. What? <laughs> There's a pole there. Yep, we found it, but do you know what that is? You wanna know what it is? Tis but a scratch is what that is. 
Uh, I showed you the bag. You just had to come get it. N- not good enough. I'm telling you. I wanted chocolate. Felt abandoned in my time of need. I forgot who told me that. <laughs> Would you like to find a friend on Discord? No. There are four P's, uh, four S's in Mississippi. And yes, I do agree. There was a poll there. But you know what that means? Tis but a scratch. Right, let's crack on. 61 miles left. 100 and... 100 and hundred and hundreds and hundreds and thousands of milliseconds. So we've got one hour. Oh, jeez. Come on, Moana. Suck an egg. We've got one hour, 16 minutes left. We're going to get there around 10 at 16 in the morning. Wolf art. Wouldn't be too bad if the engine actually uh, started playing nice. So we might not repair it and just let another worker go out in it. But you know for a fact, it, the worker's going to come up and go, uh, there's, there's a problem with my truck. And I'll look at him and go, fine when I add it. Twitch like a twiger. <laughs> Well, it's in the truck. Is it grocery? So uh, we're on way way to your house, Matt. We've got all those uh, lubricated dildos and the extra small condoms that you wanted. We've finally got them in stock, but you've took them all. So uh, we're we're bringing them to your house right now. Uh, gonna have to come off and oh, I have to come off and look. Oh, it's all right, beautiful. Go and enjoy your drawing, my dear. Just get this all sorted. Well, like I said, we'll get this dropped off. Oh, hell yeah, boo! Ah! I know, right? We finally got in the extra small. Whatever it is, it's broken. Oh, bitch! <laughs> exactly. Oh dear. Alright, so 30 miles, 38 minutes to get there. Bash! Alright, so I, I tell you what, I hope you're in, Matt. You're the one unloading it, buddy. Bish or biatch! Damn, it better not be. <laughs> well, all the dildos were made out of glass. And yes, unfortunately, Matt, it's all broken. Sorry. You've got to glue it together. You do have the old lubrication glue. It does come included in the pack, along with some finger stimulators and uh, those four anal plugs that you asked for. I'll be devastated. <laughs> uh, Mysterio doesn't like Facebook. Oh. Oh. Oh, we're nearly there! Come on! Strap off, now they are. Mm -hmm. Telling you though, the good old carpet tape and blue tack, and they're good as new. One of those gremlins took me. They took your pencil? No. Do you know what you need? You need some staples. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, Chris has got loads of crayons and a couple of helmets. I asked if I could borrow one of his helmets, but he said no. I was disgusted. Don't worry, I have like four more. Prepared. Prepared. You knew they was going to be stolen. 
It's like as a parent, you've got to be really sneaky, don't you? Hide a couple of biscuits or hide a couple of bits of chocolate. Have we got any more of that? No, we haven't. When the children are in bed. Let's get some sneaky chocolate. Not my purple helmet. No, I know. You would not let me use the purple helmet. I was disgusted. Right, so I'm hoping <clears throat> you can get lost. I'm not messing around. I don't share my crayons, but I do need a helmet. <laughs> Supermarket, welcome to the market. I would have never guessed. Well, I'm never buying people in your own at me. My engine cut off. You sweaty sock. Should draw Mr. P's truck crap. Uh huh. Uh huh. I see where you're going here, Matt. I see where you're going. See this delivery? I'm now taking it to here. You've got to come and fetch it. Mm hmm. Yeah. I was going to bring it directly to your house. I was going to bring it directly over to your house. But because of that disgusting behaviour, you can now come over to Walmart and you can fetch it. <laughs> right. What's but a scratch? It is but a scratch! <laughs> Mr. Pete, it's over to you, buddy. 40 grand in damages. What? <laughs> it's alright, still got 79,696 monies. Alright, so let's have a look at the world map. I want to see if there is... There is a garage here. But where is here? Mobile. That is a fair old trek away, because our only garage we have is all the way over here in Fresno. We do, if we do do a lot of jobs coming across, uh, we do end up always having to go through Bakersfield, Barstow... Kingsman, Flagstaff, Holbrook, Gallup, Albuquerque, or, or we go through Farmington. We always end up going down this main strip here. Thought so okay, thank God, Mama P. Yeah. Mama P works for the shaming man. There isn't. Oh, there is. Right near Meridian. We are. Going to get. There isn't one actually in Meridian. Is there one in Gulfport? There isn't a garage in Gulfport either. Well, I'll tell you what, because, um, Matt, you live near Gulfport, my baby lives near Meridian. So what we're going to do is we're going to buy the garage over here in Hattiesburg. Because it is literally in between both. How's that for love, look? Gulfport, Meridian. There we go. There we go. Uh, I drew an Oliver tractor, but, I didn't, but it didn't make it to the page because the wheels were, looked like defated balloons. Uh, I asked you if you wanted me to post it, and you said you was going to redo the wheels. Oh, bish. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, certain sight time. Good night, buddy. Uh, good night, Chris. Sleep well, mate. I hope you have a fantastic sleep. Right, so we're going to head over to Hattiesburg. It's in between Meridian. It's in between Gulfport. Two very dear people in my life. So, let's uh, head on out. If we don't break down, we'll go by that garage. And, um... Actually, can we hire a worker on the way there? Okay, headed off. Okay, beautiful. Because there is a garage here, but you know what? It's not close enough, is it? Alright, so we need to go to 
this marker. So we need to come out here and go right. Night, night, and sweet dreams. Yeah, sleep well, buddy. Honestly, sleep well. Uh, I'm on Moana. Don't let me die. Two hundred and six miles. Oh, it is a far way. <laughs> it's all right though. Like I said, we'll head on with that. We'll get see if we can hire a worker. We'll go buy him a truck, or we'll give him this one, and we'll uh, see if we can have enough money to buy another one. Right, traffic's all right. Good night, big man. Oh, 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 jeez, can't find it. Grind it. <sighs> Love grinding that old gear. <clears throat> oh, jeez, the amount of grinding these uh, the old boys going through for this girl. Up we go. Let's go hire another work. Uh, oh, you. Actually, 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 actually. Biggity, biggity, bink, bonk. Is there a recruitment place over here? No. Is there a recruitment place down there? No. Is there a recruitment place anywhere down here? No. Is there a recruitment place? No. 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 <sighs> you suck. Oh, we're gonna have to reverse. Simple as that. You can't fl flick it, kick it, exactly. That's a nice truck. Oh, 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 can we please go forward? Uh. Thank you. Finally got off the barrier. Down we go. Oh, that truck's gonna come down here, is it? No. Woo! Oh, you are, though, ain't you, sponge? How many uh, cars can we stop? Oh, you soon change lanes, don't you? The old police! Right, so that was really weird for me to go down there to that point if I wanted to get me up there but I needed to go around here stupid absolutely stupid yeah I always heard though if you can't find it grind it if you can't find the gear make your own All right, let's go get this recruitment agency We'll hire a worker. We just recently brought in Bob, and his last name is B, so Bobby. Uh. Right, get out my way. Coming through. 63 damage. You're fine, girl. You're fine. You're going to be having another driver here in a minute. <laughs> There we are, the old recruitment agency. Here we go. Here we are. You don't have any slots available for new drivers. Please upgrade your car. 
<laughs> so you're telling me I do want that garage so we're gonna go get that garage there we go 68% damage Do need to take this one off the map. There we are. Right, so we're going to go 201 mile. We're going to. Uh, it's not making any money. I just think we need a garage over this way. And uh, having one there is the right thing to do. So let's go and buy a new garage. We've got two hundred and seventy-nine thousand eight hundred. That is enough to hopefully buy a garage. Uh, I don't know if you have to buy it as level one and then spend another hundred and eighty thousand on it to get it to level two. I don't know, but uh, you know we can work towards that. We do already have one garage uh, with. Uh, couple of workers at it but we've wor we've really really worked hard to get what we've got we've done a lot of jobs a lot of long jobs but it's uh, starting to look a wee bit misty in it oh there we go the rain's coming so let's go in car put the old wipers on there we go. Oh, the old uh, weather out there is wow. Look at that. Can you see? This is the new weather mod. Boy, I'm struggling to see. I'm like that. in the old mirrors do need the old engine to start please call truck care has to make you please start it does rain a lot in Mississippi uh, I think near enough every time I have actually been in Mississippi um, it pretty much has rained because coming in through Mississippi it started raining coming out of Mississippi it's raining <sighs> must be like the British weather the great British summer rain great British winter rain autumn rain spring rain right so we're going to skip this way station that's always a good sign So, way station bypass. We've got 158 miles to go. Hard rain too, not little smooth. Yeah, we do get that over here. Like rain that ends up being to like hail. That just absolutely hammers it down rough. Like really rough. Yeah, you do get some really, really horrible rain over here. So, 2 hours, 57 minutes, 145 miles to go, and we will get the garage between. Yeah. Just think it's the right thing to do, and it's just the nice thing to do. Have a garage in between. Look at the reflection on the road. Look at that. I'm probably going to end up missing a turning because of these engine malfunctions. Right, I'm going to stop here because I don't even know if I need to go down. I probably need to go down there. But because this damn engine won't start, 
I don't know. No. Lucky. The amount of times I've missed turnings because I've had an engine malfunction and it cuts off the sat nav. Ugh. Oh. It is annoying. But make way. Moana coming through. Oh yeah. So is it ever sunny there, Matt? Is it ever sunny? Oh, in come driver Bobby. Bob, look at that. Bob B has leveled up and coming in with the goods. Just over three grand he's earned for the company. Bobby, we are proud of you, buddy. We are proud of Bobby. Can I get in the chat? Hashtag proud of Bobby. Bobby's not letting us there. He was pretty much the worst driver we could have hired. But he's leveled up. And he's earned us some money as poor old Bobby. Poor old Bob. No one was willing to give him a job. But Mr. P came in and said, you know what? You can use the Decepticon Blaze. And uh, we will use the Moana. So he is out in the best truck that we have. Runs at a top speed of about 116 miles per hour. Yes, it is. Usually doesn't rain all day, 100% humidity. Oh, jeez. When I'm over there, it's going to kill me. Mr. P and Heat don't mix. Hashtag proud of Bobby! Yeah. Oh, Bobby. Doing his thing, earning the money, paving his way for greatness. He was pretty much the worst driver we could have probably picked. But he hasn't let us down and he's brought in the money. It's only three grand, but just imagine how much of that three grand is going to go towards fixing Mr. P's errors and how many times he crashes. That's pretty much what the workers do. I don't know if I need to turn here, so I need to... No, I don't need to turn here. Gorgeous. Right, 59 miles left, Matt. And we're going to be buying a sexy little garage. But yeah, we're going to be buying a garage in between Meridian and Golf Bar. If we can get there. Might have to Flintstone it or just open the door and push. Come on, Matt, mate. Get out and push, buddy. Get out and push. Hot. Yeah, I bet. I really don't do well in the heat. I really don't. I think, honestly, I'd rather be too cold than too hot. Because at least if you're cold, you can put stuff on. If you're hot, there's only so much you can take off and only so much you can do. Oh, I hate being too hot. It makes me struggle to breathe. It makes me sweat and wheezy. feel just drained. There's nothing worse. Well, there is actually something worse, and that's toothache. Toothache that leads to earache, that leads to headache, that leads to your jaw hurting, which means to you just wanting to just whip your teeth out with pliers. Go. I ate my grandma. <laughs> oh dear. So shiny. Oh, 
Uh, so we was actually talking about movies earlier that we find funny. Are there any ones that you find funny there, Matt? Are there any? Any at all. We're nearly there at the garage in Hattiesburg. We're nearly there in the garage of Hattiesburg. Oh. Why is it when you get like one itch, you get like another three, four itches after it? So like you'll scratch your back and then your leg itches. So you scratch your leg and then your hip itches. Or if you're like me, you scratch your back and then your love handle itches. So here we go, just discovered. And the garage is just there. Anytime now. We'll just literally uh, get a driver to go in this. Go, ha, <laughs> there you go, bye. Uh, there we go. So, good old Hattiesburg. Have we got enough money? Hundred and eighty thousand. There we go. We have another garage. It is in Hattiesburg. Does that only give us the option for three, two, three? Do 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 do. do. Hmm. Engine malfunction. I've literally just. <sighs> right, so now where is. Wow, that is a beauty. I know, right. Mm. Uh, we need to hire a worker, so is there a place here? No. Where's the nearest? Mm. I can't see if that is one or not. Not one there. Hmm. We might be able to go on there. Hmm. Recruitment agency. We might be able to do that now. Uh, let's go and hire a driver. So, who have we got? Let's have a look at the bottom. Stella Z. Oh, you got to feel bad for her. You've got to, what was that? Yeah, you've got to, well, I've got to go. You have a good stream, buddy. Okay, mate, thanks for stopping in. Truly does mean a lot to me, mate. Truly does mean a lot. Thank you very much for jumping in. And I hope you have a fantastic rest of the night, buddy. hope you have a fantastic rest of the night. Well, I think we're going to have to uh, take on the old Vaclav. So let's hire drive actually let's buy a truck first shall we uh, how much is uh, Volvo is going to be really expensive right now at the minute hmm Mac day cab Hmm. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you very much for that. Truly, truly appreciate it. Means the world to me. So what we're going to do is we're going to get them a nice Kenworth. Why not? You can have a beautiful Kenworth or we might have the Kenworth. Why not?
cabin standard 370 500 we'll take that and we'll have that put in Hattiesburg there we are meant to do that there we are <laughs> Right, so there we go. Right. So, driver manager, we need to manage trucks. We are going to be driving out in the old Kenworth. There we are. We'll give the old beautiful Kenworth a run out. Why not? So, we've got one Western Star, we've got two Peterbilts, and we've now got this beautiful beast mm. but I hope everyone's having a fantastic day all we've got to do now is uh, get the old worker in and let's have a look how she looks oh we've got a Kenworth so we've got a Western Star, we've got two Peterbilts, and we now have this sexy little Kenworth. So we're going to be rolling around in this. We've now got a brand new garage. Let's go into the recruitment agency. We'll hire a driver uh, from, let's have a look from Moab. Let's go, what we got. You are the best person, but what are you expecting? 361, 1616, 66, 1666 plus delivery. Uh, Bastian K, Vaclav. Well, they're going to level up anyway, aren't they? So, honestly, it doesn't really bother me. Who we got? That's actually not a bad. That, that, and that. So he's really good with fuel efficiency. We'll do a, a little bit of a long haul. And he does star objects. Whereas these don't really do the long hauls, do they? Uh, do you know what, Thomas D? I uh, I actually think I will go for you. So there we go. We're going to bring in Thomas D. Hire driver. We're going to be putting you in Hattiesburg. There we are. So now, if we go on driver manager... We've got us in the old Kenworth K100E. Uh, we've got Stephanie G. She's out in the old lady look. And uh, what are you doing? You're doing something. <coughs> Status sleeping. Oh, all right. Uh, wow, Bob. Look at Bob. He made 4,896, whereas Stephanie made 2,531. Bobby just throwing it all out then. Look at that. His skills are going up. He's on duty. He's rolling away. Look at him. He's old Bob B. 3.3 uh, now is Stephanie G. Not too bad. She does love the old long haul, which is what I really like. I do like the old workers doing the old long jobs. And uh, Thomas D is a 0.8, not really that good. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Not bad at all. So you're in. So Thomas is in Moana. We've got Bobby, who is in the Decepticon, which is Blaze. And we have Stephanie G, bless her, who is currently in the Western Star that is known as Lady Luck. And we are in the brand new Kenworth K100E Aerodyne. Oh, gorgeous. That leaves us with 20 grand. 
Hmm. Is there a quick job? Literally a quick job. Just to earn a little bit of Wonga. Just give the old truck a run out. What have we got? No, there isn't really, is there? No. Right, well, that, I believe, is going to end the stream. Short and sweet, but honestly, thanks for watching. It truly means a lot to me. Um, I do have a fair amount to, to get done. So, thanks for watching. If you did enjoy it, don't forget, share it with everybody. If you had a laugh, then uh, by all means, that is awesome. Till then, I will see you all later. Sorry, Brian. Sorry, Brian. I've got uh, I've got a lot to do. I've got to get up early, buddy, and all that. So I've got to cut this stream short, buddy. I'm sorry. And we'll see you all later.